joyful kids. Do you see what I have today? I have a candle with a flame. I'm gonna bring it closer to you so you can see. Where do you usually see a candle with a flame, joyful kids? Do you see them, hmm, maybe for your birthday? Do you usually see a candle with, with a flame like this for on your birthday cake? Hmm, what is your favorite type of cake? Is it vanilla? Is it marble? Is it, hmm, red velvet? Is it chocolate? Chocolate by far. Chocolate by far is my favorite cake, definitely. But this is where you usually see a candle, is on top of a cupcake or on top of your birthday cake. And then what do you usually do with a candle when you see it? Look at it? No, you just don't look at it. What do you usually do, Joyful Kids, when you have a candle right on top of your birthday cake? Hmm, this is a great question. Hmm. Do you blow it out? Yes, you blow it out. Awesome. So let's blow it out. There. Look at all the whimsical smoke that comes from the candle. I'm going to put this candle down now. Well, guess what? We are going to do a mindfulness exercise. And nope, we don't all have candles like this one, but we can pretend like we do. This is called the birthday candle breath. So here I am. I'm going to use my imagination. I have a cupcake right on my hand. And what kind of cupcake do I have? Let's think about it. Hmm. Oh yeah, chocolate. Chocolate for sure. Chocolate is my favorite flavor of cake. So I have a chocolate cupcake right here. And then I have a candle. Birthday candle right there. And I'm gonna inhale through my nose. And exhale through my mouth and blow out the candle. Can you do that with me? Let's do that three times. But there's one thing about this. The candle is like a trick candle. So we can't always just blow it out. It just keeps on coming right back up. So when we inhale, we're gonna inhale through the nose and then exhale, blow it out. Super, great job. Let's do that again because it's a trick candle. It just keeps on coming back up. So let's inhale and exhale. I guess what, it came right back up again. Let's do that again. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Great, that is the birthday candle breath exercise. You wanna do it again, let's do it again, okay? So, but I want you to really imagine the cupcake there, your favorite flavor, birthday cake, maybe even, maybe even there's a little swirl of icing on top, maybe there's a little, like, I don't know, little sprinkles on top, maybe it's chocolate sprinkles, maybe it's just rainbow sprinkles, maybe it's something like that. And then there's a trick candle on top. And that flame never goes. Every time you blow it out, it comes right back again. So let's do it. How long do you think we can do it for today, Joyful Kids? How long? Let's do it for, let's do it for one minute. Do you think you can do it for one minute? I, I think you can. So 
let's try it out. Okay, so I have my clock and my timer right in front of me, and we're going to do the exercise for one minute. So we're inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouth, and blowing out the candle. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Starting right now. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One more time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And this last time, guess what happens? You blow out the candle and the flame is gone and then you can see those little whimsical wisps of smoke coming out. And then, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do all the time after you blow out your candles on your birthday cake? Eat a piece of cake. And in this case, we're going to eat the cupcake all eaten, just like that. What about you? Maybe there's another cupcake. Maybe there's two other. All eaten, all gone. And maybe there was more than just one of your favorite flavors. Maybe there was, maybe you like more than just one flavor. Maybe you like vanilla and chocolate. Maybe you like swirl, like vanilla and chocolate swirling and vanilla. So maybe you have many, many cupcakes to choose from to eat at the end of your birthday cake breathing exercise. How did you do? I sure hope you did well sure hope you do that again too so when we're doing our breathing exercises we're really mindful we're very very mindful so that means that we're concentrating on one part just one thing and that's what we are we're being mindful of just one thing and in that case we're being mindful of our breath and that blowing out that birthday candle yes so Great job, joyful kids. You did such a great job. I'm so proud of you. Guess what postures and poses we're doing, what yoga we're doing today. We're doing dog series. Yes, yes. We're going to do downward facing dog, one-legged downward facing dog, both sides. Then we're gonna do up dog and then we're gonna go back down to down dog. And then guess what? We're gonna do animal relaxation pose. All doggies and kitties do this, the animal relaxation pose. So are you ready to join me for the poses, for the yoga? Great, awesome. Let's get to our mats, get your mats out. Let's do yoga together, joyful kids. Kids, I'm so excited to be with you today. We're gonna to start off with hand circles and we're gonna count them out. So we're just make fists with your hands and then circle. Let's go nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's go in the other direction. Circling one, two, three, count with me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great job. 
great. So now we're gonna go down into down for facing dog. So we're gonna take our fingers nice and wide like this, spread your fingers nice and wide, and then place them down. And lift up your knees, lift, 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 up into downward facing dog. Nice. You can make your favorite dog sound here if you'd like. And we're gonna lift up, get up high onto your tippy toes. And then relax your heels down. High onto your tippy toes. And then relax your heels down. And high on your tippy toes. Good job, guys. And relax your heels down. Inhale and exhale. Let's come back onto the knees. Great job, downward facing dog. Let's go into upward facing dog now. Let's bring the body forward. Yes, slightly bend the elbows, spread the fingers wide. Soften the shoulders, upward facing dog. I'm sure you've seen your dog do this position and breathe. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, super. Let's go into resting butt pose here. Rest your head down. Great, two more deep inhalations and exhalations. Inhale and exhale. Super, guess what we're gonna do next? We're going to do downward facing dog, a one-legged downward facing dog. So we're gonna do the right side and then the left side. So let's Back up to our downward facing dog. Do you remember our downward facing dog? Curl under your toes. Lift your knees up. Take the hips high. Okay, let's lift up that left leg all the way up. Nice. Lifting, lifting, lifting. And relax that leg down. Bring your knees down and rest your head down in resting bug pose right here. Three deep breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Great job, joyful kids. Let's go ahead and go up again. Let's go up on the other side. So we're gonna lift up that right foot up. Up to down dog. Breathe. And this time let's lift that right leg up. Lift, lift, lift. Three deep breaths. And let's release that leg down. Great job. Let's come back to resting bed pose. Rest your head down. And let's lift up. So for our last pose today, we're going to do doggy relaxation pose. I'm sure you've seen your doggy or your kitty do this pose. So extend your legs up and here you're in staff pose. Then bend your knees, take your feet to one side and then turn over onto your left elbow like this. Doggies and kitties love to relax like this. Inhale and exhale. This should be very relaxing, very 
calming and peaceful. You can even close your eyes. For this last breath, you can rest your head on your left arm. Doggy relaxation. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and lift back up. Let's do it on the other side. So what we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So let's extend your legs out straight. This is stack pose. And then bend your knees over to the left. Come on to the right arm. This is doggy relaxation pose. Long, deep breaths. You can just relax here. Your cats and your dogs do this all of the time. They relax here. And for your last breath here, you can extend your arm out and rest your head down. Inhale and exhale. Great job, Joyful Kids. Awesome job. Great job. Thank you.